Alright guys, welcome back to uh, another episode of this, so, uh, of Making Our Virus. So, t in this episode, we're gonna be, we're gonna be managing bots, so, when, when I've been making this series so far, we've just been debugging it with 127.0.0.1, so you can only use it against your own computer. But we're gonna change that today by making it work against multiple bots at once. So, the first thing we're going to do is copy over our listener, our listener, to uh, our virus, and we're going to make some slight adjustments so we can get rid of all of that. Now we're going to go up here, and we're going to import these two usings right here. Systems.collections.generic, systems.thing.tasks, and then we're gonna go ahead and say task.factory.name lesson as we did in our class. We did it right here. And now we're also gonna go back over to our client and we're gonna copy this. Uh, these three lines of the socket. We're going to paste it at the very start of up here, and the, we're going to make one slight difference. So as I said earlier in the series, you can't have two applications of the same on the same port at once on any given computer. So we're going to change that to seven. We're just going to make lower this number of one, change that to seven. And the next thing we're going to do is make a new public static void setup. And what we're going to do is make a folder in here that's going to contain information about every single bot. So what we're going to do is say if we're going to Alright, make sure you've imported system.io as well. So we're going to check if the directory already exists. And we're going to call that directory bots. So just check if the directory bots exists. And if it does, then return, because that means we're already done. But if it does not exist, then we can create it. And we're going to go ahead and run set up right here. Okay, now what we're going to do is take sun cmd and copy it and move it over to our virus or to our class. And we're going to change this again to 14567. And then we're going to go right up here. And we're going to say, we're going to say sun cmd tuning n. We're going to go back to our server here. And we're going to listen, we're going to say if, oh, we're going to go to our string str here and deobfuscate it. Now we're going to check if the string is equal to tuning in. Now if it is, we're going to say, If the file exists, we're going to make a string file name, and that's going to be equal to ep dot two string. Now the only issue is you can't make files with colons, and a lot of IPs have colons now. 
And so we're going to replace cones with semicolons because we have to. And we're also going to re replace square brackets because a lot of IPs have square brackets so we can get rid of those because we don't need them. They're just there. Then we're going to say if the file does not exist. of the IP then create it and we're going to go ahead and test this we're going to build this run it it's important you run this first and then we're going to run the client and we're going to go ahead and see and there's a file in there and uh, there you go that's the file so I don't really want to show you the file name because it's actually my IP address but um, it's there minimize all that now. Now the only thing we have to fix now is that we need to loop through every single IP address in the box folder and then send packets to it. So right now we're sending packets to ourselves and that's just for debug purposes but that's not what we do so what we're going to do is say For every string s in directory dot get files and in the box folder we're gonna do these three last lines we have except instead of sending to ourselves we're gonna send to s and then we're just going to oh, s0 because we already have socket name s so s0 and then we're going to switch the semicolons back into colons And okay, one more thing, we're gonna have to IP address dot parse this. Build it. Run it. Run the clients. And valid IP, hold on. That might not actually be my IP then. Oh, it's 127.0.0.1. Because I am sending it to myself. Now, I'm not exactly sure what the F, 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 F is. But I do know that right there, these last few things are like, uh, I think they're my system ID or something. I'm not entirely familiar with IPv6 yet, but I will. I'm gonna check this. All right, guys. So uh, there was a minor error. I'll show you how to fix it. So all you want to do is make a new string s1 equals s0 to substring seven. And what we're gonna do is, if you remember earlier. There was some nonsense at the start of the IP like that, and we're just going to check if it exists. And if it does, remove it. And now what we're going to do is create an integer i is s1.split. This, and actually, I have to quickly import link. Right there. 
and go back to where we were. And I'm going to get the last instance of that and get the length plus one. So if I uh, were to, it's not going to work, but if I were to run this, as you can see, there's, this is the FF um, right here that we're removing. And we're also going to remove the identifier at the end there because we don't need it. We just need the IP. So we're going to get rid of the identifier as well. And right here, I'm getting the length of the identifier by splitting it by the semicolon, right? And getting the last instance and the length plus one. And now what we're going to do is just remove this. give it a go and we're gonna change that to s1 build this and run it and there you go so it works fine as you can see and um uh, we didn't has to hard code the IP in there. So uh, that, that's pretty good, and uh, that's just gonna do it for the episode today.